And I welcome you this morning to our celebration as we come together as God's family and we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the unity of His Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come together to celebrate these <coughs> mysteries of the Lord's love, the Eucharist. We take a moment to call to mind our sins, our failings. When we have sinned against the Lord, fail to love as Christ loves us, and we ask for pardon and for peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name. So that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you become believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord. 
who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Like this. 
and each subject had to have a special composition book. But not only a special composition book, we had to have number two pencils. They had to be number two pencils. Not number one, not number three, not pens, but number two pencils. So I put that in my bag. I'm going to do other things in here. Uh, I was thinking about what I learned. And when I went to school, I learned a lot about math. And you do too. But today you might be on the computer. Of course, I had learned on a ruler. This was a, a foot ruler that made inches and metrics, and that's how I learned about math. One and one and two, two and two is four. Three and three is what? Two plus three is six. Very good. Four plus four, eight. So we learned about math, and we used rulers. And then I learned about spelling. And I was like, not a very good speller. So I had to bring a dictionary to look up words. Today we might look them up on but I use the dictionary. And there are another few things in here. Oh, I learned about geography. But I learned about it through maps. Today we have map quests. We don't have to worry about directions to get to a place because we can put it into map quests on our car and boom, the directions come up and we're there. I had to learn to read a map which was very far from as I could not get from point A to point B. But a map would tell me how to get there. I had crayons that I used to mark. We learned about art, that talent that's in each of us to do very special pictures. But last of all, I was able to put into my map the Bible. Because I went to Catholic school, and going to Catholic school, we were able to talk about God and what God means to each one of us and how we relate to God. And that's what's so special about you being here at St. Elizabeth. We are at Catholic school, and we can talk about God. We can talk about God, how he's a part of our life each and every day. We can talk about how God loves us and how we are supposed to love one another. We have to talk about God, how he affects us each and every day. And I thought to myself, all this changes. The maps, our geography, spelling using our dictionary. Maybe the way we learn math and what we do in art, how we use our pencils, and what composition books we need. But one thing that doesn't change is God. And we learn about God through Scripture. And we learn about God using the Bible. And how blessed we are here at St. Elizabeth that we can talk about God and use the Bible and come each week to celebrate Mass. As you begin this year, may God continue to strengthen you to be a part of your life each and every day. That as you move through this year and learn a lot about Mass, and signs, geography, and art, and spelling. May we learn as much about God and how God needs to be a part of our life each and every day. God bless.
with the word of the Lord in our hearts and in our minds, let us place our needs before our God.
accept your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good laws of Holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and sent humanity over the whole world in all its wonders. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
and the talents of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that be the fruit of charity that may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us from God. We are the question against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and help me pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heaven and Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, speaking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a very nice day, everyone. Thank you, Father. Our closing is number 512 in Matthew 5.